Plasma Cutting Robot The plasma cutting technology is used to cut sheet metal of higher thickness up to 300 mm in comparison to laser cutting, which is used for thinner sheets up to 15 mm. The technology of plasma cutting is the best and most cost-effective solution for cutting thick metals. The Hypertherm Max Pro 200 Plasma Cutting System the Hypertherm Max Pro 200 Plasma Cutting System is engineered for heavy, duty, high-capacity automated, and handheld cutting and gouging applications. The system is known for its maximized productivity, easy operation, low operating cost, and industry-leading reliability. It can pierce mild steel 30 to millimeters 1 and a quarter inch. Advanced consumable designs improve cut consistency, and significantly increase consumable life to lower the cost per part. With true bevel cutting technology, setups for new jobs are quick and results are accurate and consistent. Fanuc Robot The use of the Fanuc Robot will provide customers with various competitive advantages. Increased productivity, improved work reliability, higher product quality, reduced costs, etc. The robot body is controlled by six axes to ensure flexible operation in production. RSLE ground track. With the HAR SLE ground track to achieve seven axes control to maximize production. Efficiency. The demonstration of the seven axis of the FANUC robot 02. Seven axis controlling robot means it can rotate or move on seven different axes. Axis 1, located at the robot base, allows the robot to rotate from left to right. This sweeping motion extends the work area to include the area on either side and behind the arm. This axis allows the robot to spin up to a full 180 degrees range. From the center point, it is marked as J1 to axis 2. This axis allows the lower arm of the robot to extend forward and backward. It is the axis powering the movement of the entire lower arm. It is marked as J2. 0 to axis 3. The axis extends the robot's vertical reach. It allows the upper arm to raise and lower. On some articulated models, it allows the upper arm to reach behind the body. Further expanding the work envelope, this axis gives the upper arm the better part access. It is marked as J3, axis 4. Working in conjunction with the axis 5, this axis aids in the positioning of the end effector and manipulation of the part, known as the wrist roll. It rotates the upper arm in a circular motion moving parts between horizontal to vertical orientations. It is marked as J4, axis 5. This axis allows the wrist of the robot arm to tilt up and down. This axis is responsible for the pitch and yaw motion. The pitch, or bend, motion is up and down. Much like opening and closing a box lid, yaw moves left and right, like a door on hinges. It is marked as J5, axis 6 is the wrist of the robot arm. It is responsible for a twisting motion, allowing it to rotate freely in a circular motion, both to position and effectors, and to manipulate parts. It is usually capable of more than a 360 degrees rotation, in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. It is marked as J6, axis 7 is the HAR SLE ground track. The whole robot body can move back and forth in the HAR SLE ground track, it further expands the robot's working area. robot rotary on one point, 
it effectively improves working quality and cutting accuracy. True Bevel Cutting Display With True Bevel Cutting Technology, setups for new jobs are quick and results are accurate and consistent. Parcel. Save time, money.